angle measurements. In this presentation, we cover three measurements or three types of measurements of an angle. The radian measure, the degree measure, and the bearing measure. The radian measure um, is based on the relationship between the circumference and the radius of a circle. So since a long time ago, uh, mankind has known that the circumference of any circle is directly proportional to the surface, circle's radius. That constant of proportionality is um, 2 pi, where pi um, is equal to the dimensionless number um, 3.1416. In modern times, we have determined that pi is an irrational number. You can look that up if uh, you don't remember it from your math uh, history. We can think of the circumference as the length of the circle's perimeter. So if r is measured at inches, then c is calculated in inches. That is, c, the circumference. If r is measured in centimeters, then c is calculated in centimeters. If r and c in this dimension have the same units, and pi is dimensionless. In mathematics and engineering, we usually use Greek letters to represent variable angles. Alpha, beta, theta, and phi are commonly used. Angles are typically referenced to a horizontal line through the center of the circle as the angle theta increases, the arc length increases proportionately. We usually use a, a counterclockwise rotation of the radius. Here we have increased the angle theta counterclockwise such that r is equal to L. We define this angle as having a a uh, value of one radius. Um, actually, uh, here L is equal to R. If the circumference of this circle is 2 pi R, then there must be 2 pi R divided by R, or 2 pi radians in the angle form as theta is continually increased to full counterclockwise rotation. In other words, there are exactly 2 pi, or approximately 6.2832 angles of one radian each in a full circle. Note again that the radian measure is the ratio of the arc length along the circumference attended by the angle to the radius of the circle. That is such, it is the only angle measurement method that can be used to describe most naturally occurring phenomena using mathematics. That is why we need to understand it. <coughs> the radian measure is often left in terms of pi. Your calculator can be set in the radian mode. The calculator incorporates pi in a numeric value for a radian measure. The diagram in the next slide superimposes the radian angle measurement method on a Cartesian coordinate reference frame. We will be using um, this diagram next week when we cover trigonometric functions of any angle. Here's a radian measure, and it's shown um, as we go round. Um, you can see that theta can be expressed in terms of pi and that three quarters of the way around is represented by three halves pi, halfway round is represented by pi, and one quarter round is uh, pi over two radians. Degree measurements are artificial in that they are not defined in terms of a ratio of arc length to radius. They're based on a simple subdivision. Humans created 360 degrees and it was entirely arbitrary. Here's a degree measure. You can see now that 90 degrees in degrees corresponds to pi over 2 radians, and 180 degrees in, corresponds to pi radians, and 270 degrees corresponds to 3 halves pi radians. So, so it must be obvious at this point that you can um, convert radians to degrees and vice versa. So um, we can use a simple proportion to do that. And here is the proportion number of degrees is to 360 as number of radians is to 2 pi. Azimuth measures. These are used in navigation and surveying. They're actually degree measurements with a different zero degree reference and a clockwise rotation. The reference line is the line pointing to true north or magnetic north, the direction in which a magnetic compass points. The next slide shows an azimuth measure based diagram. Angles are labeled with numeric and verbal directions such as north 330 degrees west magnetic. The difference between true north and magnetic north depends on your longitude and latitude. So here is 
a set of azimuths or a diagram showing some azimuths. And uh, if you were a surveyor, this um, this is the way you, you do all of your um, all your lot layouts and all your deeds and descriptions of property lines. Also, if you navigate, you'd be using something like this.